From a casting of a fire ant colony, a bamboo trap to catch an anaconda, a cruelty-free rat trap, a fish and crab trap to some drunk slugs in a cup, we have for you some of the most creative and amazing traps that work disgustingly well. Fire Ant Colony Casting. This method will not only help you eliminate a fire ant colony, but will also give you a trophy to take home. Having a colony near your residence is definitely bad news. Their sting leaves a sharp pain and burning sensation, which turns into blisters the next day. So to combat them first, you need to take some aluminum for the cast and a furnace set up to heat your aluminum. Always play it safe and melt more than you anticipate using. Enlarge the entrance of the mold to create a depression around it for the aluminum to flow into. Clear any flammable debris from the area and make sure you have a fire extinguisher nearby. Now it's time for some action. Pour down the aluminum carefully. Continue pouring until the aluminum overflows the entrance so it is completely filled. Wait for an hour to cool it down. Use a sharp pointed tool to probe the mound carefully. Use a water hose to wash the dirt from the casting. And voila! Here is your trophy. Anaconda Trap Look at this beauty. Can you guess how this man managed to trap this huge anaconda? Well, a man named Anansi was having trouble as his chickens were disappearing frequently. He suspected an animal doing this and made a trap to catch whoever was stealing his chickens. He made a bamboo trap by using a huge blue drum and used one of his chickens as bait. Look what he caught. Yes, a damn huge anaconda. Look how the creature is struggling to get free from the shackles of the trap. What I am most surprised about is that this huge was only stealing chickens? He should have better checked for missing dogs, goats, and children too. But one thing is for sure, there is no doubt about the trap's effectiveness. Fish and Crab Trap Ah, this one is the most satisfying trap ever. The man cut the bamboo to the size of his needs. He then went to a small pond with fish, then started the process of digging the ground. You may be wondering, why is he doing that? Well, it's to dig a small hole filled with water to set the bamboo traps there so that the fishes and crabs will swim right out. After he dug a nice deep hole, he evened out all the surrounding surface so that the water could easily pass out there without any hindrance. The man then took four bricks and placed them in adjacent spaces with bamboos parallel to them. Look how he is using the mud to firmly place all the setting. Now it's time to cover up the trap with some fresh leaves. The most preferred way is to keep the trap for one night so that the next morning you could get this. Look, the man managed to capture so many fish, eels, and crabs. It's sure going to be a feast tonight. Drunk slugs. Do you guys know that even animals can be enticed with a drink or two? Don't believe me? Well, if you will ever have slugs causing damage to your plants, worry not, as we have a perfect trick to get them drunk. No, I am not joking, guys. Slugs are attracted to the yeasty odors found in beer. In fact, they love it so much, they crawl into containers with beer and drown. Making beer traps for slugs is an easy DIY project, but there are some limitations to using them. These traps only attract slugs with a limited range, so traps need to be placed approximately every square yard. Gather up several inexpensive plastic containers. Recycled yogurt containers or margarine tubs are an appropriate size for making beer traps for slugs. Bury the containers in the ground with about one inch remaining above the soil line. Pour two to three inches of beer or beer substitute into each container and check them regularly. Here are your fellas who had a little too much to drink. Drain Flies Trap If you don't want drain flies in your kitchen, all you have to do is to take some water, boil it in a kettle, and drain it out at least two times a day. All of the drain flies will be as good as dead. If you think that's basic, I have some other tricks up my sleeves too. Trap flies by setting a bowl of equal parts sugar, water, and white vinegar 
with five to 10 drops of liquid dish soap on the counter next to the sink overnight. Flies will be attracted to the fragrant liquid and drown. Other than that, you could also use baking soda. Combine a half cup of salt with a half cup of baking soda and one cup of vinegar and pour the mixture down the drain. Moths, moths, go away. Tired of all the moths raiding down your home and making unwanted holes in your clothes? Then worry not, as we have for you a rather simple technique to take care of your moth problem. The technique is simple and effective, but we would have to get a little bit creative with their trap. Though female moths have wings, they can't fly. Male, on the other hand, always remain relentless in pursuit of females. In short, they are horny, and we are gonna use it to our benefit. Take a clear plastic bottle and cut four holes. Punch a hole in the center of the lid. String a piece of twine through the hole with a knot at the inside end. Tape a strip of pheromone bait to the inside of the jar or bottle lid so that it isn't all covered with tape, but hangs down from the lid down into the bottle. Put a couple of inches of water. Hang it up somewhere and let it do the work. Centipede Trap during winters, these centipedes invite themselves into your home in search of warmth. People get freaked out about them. Well, why shouldn't they? These insects are venomous and can inflict painful bites, injecting their venom through pincer-like appendages. So, if you want a simple trick to catch them, just do as I say. FYI, we are going to make simple homemade yellow sticky insect traps. For that, you will need cardboard, a sticky substance like honey, Vaseline, non-dry glue, and even heavy engine glue will work. Just apply the sticky substance to your yellow object and place it among your house plants. You'd be surprised how quickly insects will end up trapped on it. As your trap starts becoming covered with insects, just clean it off and apply more of the sticky product you chose. That way, you can use your sticky trap again and again. Pitfall Trap a pitfall trap is a simple device used to catch small animals, especially insects and other invertebrates that crawl and spend most of their time on the ground. You may be wondering how it works. Well, in its most basic form, it consists of a container buried so that its top is level with the surface of the ground. Any creatures that wander nearby may fall in. They can't escape by climbing, jumping, or flying out and will remain trapped until you release them. Now, how to make such a trap? For that, you are going to first of all locate an ideal place. Use a trowel to dig a small hole. Place a clean container or cup in the hole. Fill in any empty space around the pot with soil. Make sure that the top of the pot is level with the ground or you won't catch anything. It is ideal to leave your trap overnight. Empty it the next morning to see what kind of insects wandered in. Light Trap Moth trapping is kind of a tricky business, and oftentimes when scientists need them to study, they use different kinds of traps. Now, these traps are often not effective. If they are effective, they need a lot of time and effort to install. This light trap was used in a mountain in Vietnam to study moths. I must say, it looks very effective. It doesn't even feel like a trap, but a vacate ground for moths. As we all know, moths and insects get attracted to light. So what they did here is to take an illuminating tarp in a bright light to attract these creatures. It is still not known as to why these insects get attracted to illuminating objects. It is just said that these illuminating objects confuse the bird's navigational system. Bed bug trap. Oh, bed bugs are the worst. Their audacity to live in our beds and suck at our beds sneakily at night always infuriates me. Their bites can result in several health impacts, including skin rashes and psychological effects. And don't even get me started on allergic symptoms. But what if I tell you that I have a relatively simple trap to get rid of them? All you need is two different sized containers, rough surface tape, glue, baby powder, car polish, and a square piece of tile or plywood. Cut four pieces of rough surface tape as high as the wall of the smaller container. Evenly place the four pieces of tape on the inside of the small container. Wrap the tape around the exterior side of the larger container. Glue both the containers together and apply car polish or talcum powder to the interior side of the larger and exterior side of the smaller container. 
Place them under each leg of your furniture. You can apply square tile or plywood underneath the trap to prevent the trap from breaking under the weight of the furniture. Bamboo Trap This DIY trap comes in handy to capture many animals like snakes, eels, frogs, squirrels, or other small ones. All you need to make this amazing bamboo trap is, of course, bamboo. Take one of the cylindrical shapes and sharpen the other one to strike at your trap. Cut a small rectangle in the front to fit the sharpened stick. Take a long, spiky piece of wood and adjust it above the rectangular opening. Now take a piece of string and make knots on both ends of the spiky wood. Adjust it to make it like a bow. Cut a small square on the other end of the bamboo parallel to the rectangle. Now, just as the animal will go in the bamboo, the hanging will be immediately triggered as it will be closed. Now, after you made the trap, placing it in the right spot is also extremely important. Dig out the land, place it on the lower surface, and adjust it to the ground level, and cover it properly. Set the bait and wait for your trap to arrive. Voila! That's how you catch a snake. Yellow Jacket Trap while yellow jackets are beneficial insects that do wonders for your flowers, but nobody fancies them when they start swarming around your pitcher of sweet tea, well, now you can lure them away from you and your kids with this homemade bait. First, just take a plastic bottle, pour half a cup of water into the bottle, add the sugar, and shake the liquid until the sugar dissolves completely. Once the sugar is dissolved, add the apple cider vinegar and shake well. You can also add the optional banana peel as decaying fruits really attract yellow jackets. Now, cut off the top quarter or a third of the bottle. Flip that top over by gluing it to the bottle to make a funnel and place it snugly back into the bottle. You are done! See how easy that was? Don't forget to bring this to your next picnic. Mosquito Trap I think we can all agree on one thing, that mosquitoes are hella annoying. Not only do they dare to suck our blood, but also transmit deadly diseases to us. They are often called one of the most dangerous animals on the planet. That's right, they kill more humans every year than any other animal. Here, we have a quite easy trap to lure them in. All you are going to need is an empty plastic bottle, some sugar, a tablespoon of honey, and a glass of water. Cut off the top quarter of the plastic bottle. Take the lower half and pour the glass of water into it. After that, take three teaspoons of sugar and keep stirring until it dissolves. Then take one tablespoon of honey and dissolve it. Now that the sweet mixture is ready, all you need to do is to fix the upper half of the bottle with the tape into a flipping over position. Mosquitoes, here we come! Porcupine Trap Porcupines love salt and mainly consume bark, which puts your trees, vegetation, and outdoor wood furniture at risk. One method of removing a porcupine from your property is using a live trap to catch and release the animal. Live trapping is a safe and effective way to keep animals away from your home. This one here is quite easy to make. You just need a huge tire, but your tire should be covered by something so that the animal can't escape the trap. Dig a little hole in the ground where the porcupine can be trapped. Take a bamboo stick and nail it to the ground. Now take two smaller bamboo sticks and place them in the dug hole. Use a piece of string to connect the tire and the stick. Place leaves over your trap to cover it effectively. The trap is ready. Look how this porcupine got trapped under it. Quick and easy, right? Pair it into the box. Want a nice parrot as a pet? Well, worry not, as you can get one by using this effective trap. It's so easy to make, and you won't need anything fancy at all. Just a box, some good rubber bands, a stick, some nails, and you will be sorted. First, you need to even out the ground so that your trap would be firmly placed on the ground. Then take a large stick and nail it down to the ground. The box should be measured carefully for a diagonal cut. Place a cut at the other end to open up the box. Make holes at the back side of the box so that the large stick could be attached by passing through strings. Make two holes at the bottom part of the box, too. Now, nail down the box and use rubber bands to connect the whole structure. Guys, better to watch, honestly! And here your trap is ready. Hooray! Put grains as bait and wait for a nice little parrot to come by. 
Look, here he comes. Um, why is it closing, guys? Ah, there it goes. Pigeon trap. Want to capture a cutie pigeon? Because we have a perfect trap for you. Just take a cardboard, make this particular shape, and cut the lines with a sharp knife. Then, fold them to make an opening through which your bird will flow in. Now it's time to dig a hole. Why are we digging it? Well, it's where your bird will be trapped. After digging a nice hole, take the cardboard and place it over the hole by covering it properly. Dig a nail through the cardboard so that the cardboard will be firmly in its place. It's time to put some grain to attract the pigeons. Leave it for some time. Do you think he was successful in capturing a pigeon? I guess we'll see. Oh, there it is. Chicken trap. Want to eat a nice yummy chicken? Well, I sure would. And now we even have an easy way to do so. You just need a simple old plastic basket, some wooden nails, a thread, a stick, and two bricks. So we'll start by digging two nails in the ground behind the trap so that our plastic basket could rest on it. Then we will take the thread and conjoin both the bricks. Not just the bricks should be conjoined, but they should be knotted with the basket. After knotting the thread with the box and brick, we will dig another nail in front of the basket. The long wooden stick will then be adjusted at the top of the nail. The last part is to take a thread and knot it down with the stick and the nails so the trap can be triggered when one innocent chicken would walk by it. Look, it captured a chicken ready to be cooked. Now let's get ready for today's open discussion. Guys, let me just put it this way. Horseflies are the worst. Horseflies slash down the skin, hence it's much more painful. But this man hatched a plan to trap them and it's disgusting how well it works. First, you are going to need a black plastic bag. Fill it with soapy water. The next one is a tricky part. Build a structure that can hold two sheets of plexiglass at a 45 degree angle suspended over the soapy mixture. The horse flies will be deflected into the soapy water and they'll die by drowning. Another parrot trap. After the box parrot trap, we have another creative way to trap a parrot. This is how it works. So do you guys wanna know how to make it? So look and listen carefully. First things first, even out the ground. Then take a net and put it in a metal string. Take a blue pipe, make a hole on both sides and pass the metal string with a net through it. The net is ready. Now it's time to sediment the foundation. Take a lot of rubber bands and make a huge knot in the middle. Place them at the sides of the blue pipe from one side and put the other to the nail in the ground. The trap is almost ready. Put another nail on the back side of the trap. Take a straight metal string and do all this. The man went all complex in just a matter of seconds. Even I am having a hard time catching up to him. And it's ready! Here comes the parrot. Honestly, I think I'll just buy one from the pet shop. Fly trap. Apart from their annoyingness, flies are also harmful to human health. They can spread diseases such as food poisoning and dysentery. So, here is a simple homemade trick to get rid of the stinky flies. Just take a plastic bottle and cut the upper quarter of the bottle. Take some pieces of meat and put them in a plastic bottle. This is to attract the flies as they love the stinky smell of routine meat. Take some water and pour it down the bottle. Then flip the top of the bottle upside down and slide it into the bottom of the bottle, like a funnel, to complete the trap. Magnet Mosquito Trap if you want an easy way to catch gazillions of mosquitoes, then make sure to buy a magnet mosquito trap. The mosquito magnet trap uses a counterflow technology that emits a plume of carbon dioxide, heat, and moisture, while simultaneously vacuuming the biting insects into a net where they dehydrate and die. Look, this man caught so many by using this. If you are still skeptical about its effectiveness, just know that if you put it in the right place and set up properly, it can attract many mosquitoes around your neighborhood. In fact, in just six days, six mosquito magnets managed to capture 1.5 million mosquitoes at one U.S. Coast Guard station in the Bahamas. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for getting updates related to our latest videos.